Other news tonight, far too many questions after a horrible crash in Sterling Heights. Two people were killed. Take a look at the wreckage. Cars just completely torn apart at 17 Mile Road at Ryan. It's taken crews hours to investigate as well as clean up. Steve Garagiola is live at the scene. Steve, are police giving any indication as to how this happened? No, there are really just so many questions at this point. The intersection here, as you said, 17 mile east-west. This is Ryan, north and southbound. These five lanes were littered with debris over the stretch of a football field. Several of the officers out here this afternoon told me they have never seen an accident scene like this. The crash happened at about 11 this morning. A devastating scene, three vehicles involved, a debris field that stretched 100 yards or more. I've just never seen nothing like this in my whole life. It's this bad, like this, never. Initial investigation indicates a black Jeep traveling southbound on Ryan crossed into the northbound lane and hit a second car head on. The Jeep careened then into a minivan. The male driver of the Jeep and female driver of the minivan both died at the scene. It's unclear just how fast the vehicles were traveling. The speed limit on this stretch is 45. But one of the officers put that into perspective. A head-on crash with two vehicles going 45 is a 90 mile per hour collision. This one left two people dead. Whenever we see accidents, we like to stop and pray for the families because my mom died in a car accident and I, when this looks really bad, I just think about the families. Yeah, all you can do is pray for the families. Police have not released identities of any of the victims here because they have not made contact yet with the families. And again, so many questions. All that really is clear now, that Jeep heading here southbound for some reason crossed over on the northbound side. What was involved as to why that happened, police will continue to investigate it. Karen, Devin, back to you. Steve, I imagine that police officers are trying to find out if there's any security cameras perhaps in the area that may have recorded the crash. Have you heard anything about that? Yeah, I mean, as far as witnesses, unclear who saw it, but there is a, a party store across the street that apparently they do have some surveillance cameras that may have caught the accident. I went over and talked with them. Uh, the owner was not there, so they would not let us have that video, but Sterling Heights police definitely will be checking that video to see if they can determine exactly how and why this crash happened. Hopefully that can provide some answers. All right. Thank you, Steve.